About to talk to Keenan Thompson. One moment. Vegas is always trying to find new shows. Mm -hmm. You know, we got a lot of different things from Cirque du Soleil to Thunder Down Under. Yeah. Would you go to a show with these two guys? So I would say it's an upgrade from the Thunder Down Under. Only if it's BYOB. That's the only way that you can go to a show like that. All of our players have two legs. This guy's got four. He got a lot of hairy players. This one's the hairiest. Meet the newest shark, Finn. Finn, you get your own seat. I got season tickets for two. That's where Bark Lee Goodrow scored that game seven overtime winner. Yeah, right over there, where the treat is. Well, first off, so glad you're here at the tank. For the last time you were here at SAP Center, you were the first female skater to participate in the NHL All-Star Skills Competition. We're gonna show that video up on there right now. An amazing display you put on, making some of the boys look bad. All right, welcome to a new episode of Off Days. We're gonna be hanging out with another Sharks player at his apartment. It's John Root here at Media Day. We're gonna get some behind the scenes footage and check out some of the personalities of these guys. If you score 100 points, everyone's going home with some of that. And I think some of the players too. How many times are you guys gonna score 100 this year? Hopefully every game. Hopefully the other team doesn't score 100. They're scoring 100 points every single game. You gotta hold them to it and you're going home with ice cream. You've had an amazing career so far, but who on the Sharks, I think I have a good idea, do you think would be the best golfer? Well, I heard that Joe Pavelski plays really well. I'd love to play with him sometime and see how good his game is. All right, you heard that, Joe. I know Joe's in the locker room right now, but I hope he's hearing this. You got a special invite from Michelle Wee to get on the links and hit the ball. How do you see your role on the team right now? Because you've been a captain before, early pick for the Sharks, huge part of the success around here in San Jose. Now that you're back here, how do you see that role developing? For me, I think it's about actions. So we know it's been a crazy week, you coming out to San Jose. Describe how this week's been. Are you all settled in? As much as I can be, I think. What's up, Instagram? Welcome to another episode of Sharks IGTV. It's John Root. What do you say we get this thing started by? Popping some bottles. Popping bottles for charity, that is. The Sharks always have a great locker room, a lot of big personalities, but you want to see that translate on the ice, too. So you want to see, like, Pavelski, he's got a big smile on the ice, big fist bump like I was doing when he scored as well. Like, <laughs> I, was, I was excited. He's excited. Yep. I think that's what we want to see. This is a complete 180 from the first time these two teams met earlier in the season. It's up, and he knocks that one down. Just like we were talking about, you're a leader now. So you're bringing some of the boys here to the game. How does that feel to be able to not only just lead them on the ice, but off? You're here to have a good time, too, right, and right. just create that culture. The biggest thing for me is bringing our trainers and our medical guys. we got a few challenges. First challenge, accuracy challenge. you got to hit Undead Fred from long distance. Let's see what you got. Cup check. The Dell Dome is the place to be. But tell us a little bit more about coming down here with your dad and playing guitar and where your love for playing guitar came from. I mean, I, he used to take me out when he was in a band to, uh, to the shop where they practice at. That's a look at the NL West as it stands today. Now we send it out to game day meteorologist Shiloh Whitley. How's it looking out there? Second annual uncorking contest. Big winner right here. Tell us about the strategy. Huge winner, I would say. That was not even close. You've been around some amazing atmospheres during your playing days, but now you're in the tank. What do you think about this atmosphere for the Western Conference Final? I like it. I like it. I'm sitting up in one of the... 